Okay, we're live, and yes, we're in color too. Hi, everybody, meteorologist Joe Rayo here on my exclusive Joe Rayo Weather YouTube channel. That's right. If you have not yet already subscribed, do. Uh, it is free. It will not cost you anything. And periodically, we'll come on on YouTube. You'll get notifications when we're going to be doing uh, this particular uh, little short fused update to give you the latest on the weather. And it's not looking too good if you are a snow lover here in the tri-state metropolitan area. I got to tell you something. This is really weird. If you want to see snow, a significant snow, a real old-fashioned, good old-time winter storm, you're going to have to head down to North Carolina at least over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. That's where the snow is going to be falling in North Carolina, of all places. I just checked uh, a few of the spots along uh, central and eastern North Carolina. Greenville, North Carolina, normally gets in a typical winter a grand total of three inches of snow. And over the next 12 hours, they may pick up that and more, maybe double their normal amount, five, six inches possible for Greenville uh, over the next 12 to 18 hours. As a storm system slides on by to our south, interacts with this cold air mass that has built into our area, today, and that cold air mass is indeed um, setting us up for cold and dry weather and suppressing or pushing that coastal system off to the south, not giving us any snow, but bringing snow again to North Carolina. Um, we're looking actually for generally clear skies this evening to give way to cloud cover as that storm passes close to us. All we're going to see from it are just the clouds. Uh, during the late night hours tonight. Low temperatures, get ready. Tomorrow morning uh, in some of the rural valley sections, maybe down to as low as 10 degrees. And if you live along the coast and if you are along uh, some of the urban uh, areas such as Yonkers or Mount Vernon, this again is the lower Hudson Valley, you will be seeing temperatures a little bit milder, a little balmier, more like uh, say around 20 or 21. So it's going to be a cold one tonight, one of the colder nights we've seen so far this winter season, it hasn't really been all that cold. Tomorrow, a cold day, yes. Starting off with clouds, again, from that system that's not giving us anything in terms of snowfall, but uh, coming close enough to bring us some cloud cover for a while early in the day. And as that system sails away out over the ocean, uh, it will uh, induce a clearing trend. Skies will gradually clear. We'll see some increasing sunshine during the afternoon hours tomorrow. And temperatures tomorrow are going to be held down in the 30s. 30 or so in rural valley spots, again, up to the north and west, 38 for coastal and urban locations. So again, a cold one, but a dry one. And then we set the stage for some great weather for the upcoming weekend. This weekend coming up looks, uh, I don't know, more like a weekend you'd see in mid or late March as opposed to uh, February. Um, after another cold night tomorrow night and clear skies, bright and sunny weather, high pressure building down and into our area. Uh, temperatures on Saturday decidedly milder than what we're going to see today or tomorrow with readings getting up to between 41 and 50 degrees. Think of it, 50 degrees possible for some locales on Saturday afternoon. And if you like the sound of that, how about Sunday? Temperatures on Sunday within a few degrees of 50 everywhere, along with lots and lots of sunshine. Looking ahead to early next week, We'll start with sunny skies on on Monday. I think we'll see a few clouds come in late in the day, but still Monday should be a real winter with temperatures mostly, again, at or above 50 for many areas. And then on Tuesday, we'll have uh, a storm system passing off to our west, a warm front to our south. I think that we're going to see temperatures on uh, Tuesday a bit chillier because of the clouds and the threat of precipitation. Not a whole heck of a lot. Maybe some light rain. Uh, no big deal. Temperatures on uh, Tuesday probably in the mid to low 40s, and a few lingering showers on Wednesday of next week with temperatures, again, mostly, I think, in the 40s. There has been some talk or was some talk about snow, snow for us for next Thursday. Um, that was because uh, while most of the weather models was taking a storm to our west, yesterday the European model uh, brought a storm just far enough to our south keeping us in a colder airflow and suggesting that we might actually get a significant snowfall for next week, next Thursday. Uh, looking at that, I said to myself, and I also mentioned or alluded to uh, this with uh, 
our short Joe and Joe session last night uh, with uh, Joe Chiaffi, I said, you know, that's what the European is saying eight days out. And as we are all aware, the uh, European has done not so great in the uh, mid and long term scheme of things. So I would not quite hang my hat yet on a possible snow event, especially eight days out with the European. And sure enough, the European now is coming with a more westerly course for that storm system, uh, bringing us more rain than snow. And uh, when it does finally pass on by, maybe enough cold air filters back in on the backlash of the storm on Thursday of next week, but more likely just a few showers of rain or maybe a cheap throw, maybe a wet snow flake or two. But uh, right now, it does not look like we're in line for any significant snowfall in the short-term, mid-term, or even long-term future here in the New York area. But as I said, if you have nothing to do, and if you're a snow lover, jump in the car right now, go down Interstate 95, and as you're moving into Rocky Mount, North Carolina, and Point South, you'll probably run into uh, a few inches of the white stuff. In fact, they have winter storm warnings posted, again, for central and eastern sections of North Carolina. It just doesn't seem to be our year. Also on Facebook, I posted something else. Um, how many times do you see this? Each day, the Weather Prediction Center puts out probability forecasts for snow, for at least four inches of snow, at least eight inches of snow, and at least 12 inches of snow. They do that on a daily basis. And for tomorrow, from 7 o'clock a.m. Friday to 7 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, for the entire country, which includes the Rockies, the Cascades, here in the northeastern states, the Adirondacks, the Green, the White Mountains, the Catskills, for the whole nation, starting tomorrow at 7 a.m., running until 7 a.m. on Saturday, the probability of at least four inches of snow is less than 10%. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? So tonight, we get a, a rare snowfall of significance for portions of North Carolina that don't really see much of any snow. And then first thing in the morning tomorrow into the weekend, the chances for any kind of snow uh, of any significance more than four inches is virtually nil, at least less than 10%. It has been a wacky and indeed an, an amazing winter, both in terms of uh, abnormally mild or anomalously mild temperatures in our neck of the woods and also for the lack of any snow. I'm not sure what the latest in terms of snowfall in Philadelphia is, but if you think we've had hardly any snow up here in the New York metropolitan area, try Philadelphia. I think the last look was that they had maybe about a third or a quarter of an inch of snow. That I mean, let, that's ridiculous for the whole winter season. And it's looking more and more like they're going to go through as we will probably go through the rest of February with not much of any snow. We're still working on at Central Park a trace of snow, a trace for this month of February, which has only happened four other times this in, in this area over the last 150 years at Central Park, 19, uh, 2002, 1982, uh, no, excuse me, 2002, 1981, 1971, 1938. Four Februarys, this could be number five, with just a trace of snow at Central Park for the month of February. There has been one, only one February that has never had a, any kind of snow, even a trace, and that was the El Nino winter of February 1998. Working on one of those kind of winters uh, this particular season, I guess you could say, in a, if you're using a baseball analogy, 1998 in terms of snow was a perfect game. Zero, nada, nothing. But we're working on a no-hitter. We've had at least a trace of snow, but we've had no more. And uh, that has happened again only four other times at Central Park over the last 150 years. Let's check the chat board quickly. We see that John Trabinko is on tra – tra Travacchino, Travacchino, that's right, John Travacchino. Greetings to you, John. William Huber, how you doing uh, to you? Joe Chiaffi, Mr. Chiaffi is on. And I think I should alert everybody that we are going to be on tonight with the Joe and Joe Weather Show on Joe Chiaffi's YouTube channel at 7 o'clock tonight. I would presume that Joe has cleared up all of his connectivity issues and his internet problems that he's had for many, many days in the early evening. Uh, he yelled at the people over at Altis or Optimum or whatever you want to call it last night. He was on the phone with them, and hopefully we will not have any problems when we do the Joe and Joe show tonight at 7 o'clock, again on Joe's YouTube channel. You're watching Joe Rayo Weather on YouTube, and again, if you haven't already subscribed, 
please do. We're at 626 subscribers, slowly but surely building toward that magic 1,000, which hopefully we will hit in the coming days and weeks to come. Um, let's see. Um, how much for the season? Oh, he's talking to John uh, Trabacchino. We had three inches on Tuesday. And for the season, John Trabacchino says he's got 61 inches of snow. I'm not sure where John Trabacchino is, but he certainly has had a lot more snow than we have. Shelly Man Studios, I hope March is better for us. Well, what, what can I say about March? Except hopefully it can't get any worse than what it's been like so far uh, in, <clears throat> in February. And how are you doing, uh, Shelly Man Studios? Um, let's see, who else is on? David uh, Carter. Uh, how is it up in Alaska, David? Um, uh, David Carter says it's 30 right now in Bethel, Connecticut. Bethel, Connecticut, 30 degrees. And it's cold, no question. It's going to be cold again tonight and tomorrow and even on into tomorrow night as well. Uh, Michael Azera, Philadelphia hasn't had any snow in February. If it holds that, it would be the first time that has ever happened. Unbelievable. It's, 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 and, and quite a contrast. I remember I was, uh, I was on uh, at a private forecasting firm uh, working in February of 1983 when we had the great megalopolitan snowstorm, which I think broke an all-time record for Philadelphia. They had something like about 25, 26 inches in one sitting with that particular big, big snowstorm. I remember one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, special weather statements that they put out during that storm in 1983. Uh, the header said, "This is one you're going to tell your grandchildren about." <laughs> and now here we are on the opposite side of the coin, zero inches so far in February in terms of snowfall. And again, probably only about a third of an inch total for the entire uh, winter season so far. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Uh, Daniel Fitzsimmons, Joe, are we getting anything next week for Long Island if it's possible? And uh, Dan, I, I hate to tell you this because uh, I know you like snow, but it does not look like we're seeing anything aside from maybe a couple of snow showers, maybe on Thursday or, or showers of rain or wet snow on Thursday of next week. I honestly don't think we're going to see much of anything in terms of any significant snowfall um, uh, through much, if not all of uh, next week. 22 degrees right now, according to John Trabacchino in Williamstown, Massachusetts, located in the north and west corner of Massachusetts. And so far, as John mentioned, and I mentioned just a few moments ago, they have had in the northwest corner of Massachusetts, 61 inches of snow, quite a bit more than what we have had here in the tri-state metropolitan New York. I mean, take a look at me, for example. I live in Putnam Valley, and I would have to say that I have averaged in the 18 years that I've lived up here, I have averaged something like 50 or even 60 inches of snow. And by this particular point, of time in February, I usually have had 30 to 40 inches. At this point, I've used my snowblower probably at least five or six or seven times, twice. That's all. My Troy built snowblower has been used twice. Uh, once in December, at the very beginning of December, when we had the biggest storm of the season for us, four and a half inches. And then uh, back uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a storm uh, where we had, uh, what did we have? Not a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this was on uh, January 19th. We had 2.9 inches. And so far for the entire season, I have had here less than 10 inches of snow. 9.7 inches has been my grand total to this point in time, which is unheard of. We, we've never, I've never had a, a, a season like this. I moved up here in 2002. And I believe the winter of 2001-2002 was very similar to the kind of winter we had here. But I hadn't been here yet. I was not settled in in that winter. I came the following winter, and hey, here's something to hang your hats on. Whereas 2001, 2002 had hardly anything in terms of significant snow. How many of you remember that winter of 2002, 2003? We had tons of snow. We had a big snowstorm on Christmas Day. We had a big storm on President's Day. The big storm uh, that year on President's Day, for me, over 20 inches in one sitting. So who knows? Things can change very quickly, um, maybe from hardly anything this year to maybe next year it'll be a little bit better than uh, what we've had. Anything would be better if you're a snow lover than what we're going through uh, right now. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have uh, FLE, FLED weather. Uh, hi to you, Zach, uh, Mark. Everyone was forecasting a heavy winter this year. Everyone. Um, um, 
I'm not sure. I think the old Farmer's Almanac said something like it was going to be a milder than normal winter, but I'm not uh, too uh, averse on precisely what their forecast was. Jenna Russo. Jenna Russo? Jenna Russo. There's a name I, heard, I think I remember. Jenna Russo. Let me see. Uh, I used to have a producer at News 12 in Westchester named Jenna Russo. Although we never called her Jenna Russo. We called her Jenna Lee. <laughs> Jenna Lee. How you doing, uh, Jenna? And uh, say hello to your to your husband. Tell him hi, guy. <laughs> I used to do. Uh, Jenna's, uh, not, not Jenna's husband, but uh, Jenna's uh, 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 boyfriend. Um, he was a producer over at, uh, at uh, News 12 as well. I used to do my Ted Baxter. For him, I used to make believe I was Ted Baxter. Every time I pass him in the hallway, how you doing, guy? Uh, John Frappuccino, our big storm was December one and two. Well, yeah. Well, John, you, up in the northwest corner of Massachusetts, if if Albany had twenty two inches in one sitting with that particular storm, I'm sure you're probably up in the Berkshires, um, which is probably also why you have so much snow. You probably had at least as that much, if not even more. At least that's my guess. Um, Let's see. Um, uh, rapid. <laughs> Jenna saying rapid. They used to say, I used to go long when I was at News 12. Uh, I just blither on for longer than what was in the in the uh, TV rundown. And uh, I used to get it in the uh, in my earpiece from either Jenna, the producer or the director. Um, rapid, Rayo, rapid. And uh, so, yeah, maybe I should wrap it because there's not much more to talk about. Uh, Zach Mark, weather is like music. Um, <laughs> uh, Je yeah, I, kn I know, Jen. I knew it was you. Jen is saying here, it's me, Jenna Lee. Yeah, all right. I know, Jenna. It's it's you. And say hello to Richard for me. Uh, and uh, Den Daniel Fitzsimmons, I heard March will be cold. Is that true? Look, Daniel, <laughs> uh, considering how mild it's been in January and February, uh, I think if I think if we had even a normal March, it'd probably be by this by by relative standards to what we've been through so far this winter, uh, chilly at least, or maybe even cold. Um, any special astronomy events coming up? Not really. We we blew a chance to see an eclipse of the planet Mars a couple of mornings ago. The moon passed in front of Mars, what what is called an occultation, and of course, naturally, for us here in the tri-state area. What happened? It was clouded over completely. Maybe some folks out in the central and western part of the United States got a chance to see that, but we did not get a chance to see that at all. So nothing special going on. Take a look at Venus. Have you seen? Have any of you seen Venus? Go outside as soon as the sun goes down. Look off to the southwest, about halfway up in the sky, this big, beautiful, white, silvery, brilliant star. Not a star, the planet Venus. So bright because it's perpetually covered in a thick overcast. The clouds act like a great reflector of sunlight and make it shine so very, very dazzling in our sky. Take a look at it. It's there for all to see for an hour or two after sunset uh, in the western sky right after sundown. You can't miss it. It is very, very bright. Um, so let's talk about Roger the Rooster. <laughs> Jen, yeah, Jen is bringing up stuff now from my News 12 days. One time I was on with uh, a real great professional, uh, a great guy, uh, news anchor, Tim Cassidy. And there was a story about a rooster named Roger. I have no clue. I don't have any remembrance of what the story was about, why this rooster named Roger was mentioned, what, 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 whatever special thing he did to manage him to land on the news. But anyway, as, as uh, Tim was reading the, the, the uh, story, he started to giggle. Then he throws it to me and, uh, to do the weather. I started to giggle. Then he starts laughing. I start laughing. I started, I, I was laughing so hard. When I got back to the desk, the two of us were like two crazy, just laughing. We could barely, we could barely sign off uh, for, for that particular half hour. I'm just thinking about it now. It was, it was very, very funny. And so every now and then when I talk to Tim and now Jenna uh, mentioning Roger the rooster. Well, anyway, all right. Um, let's see. Jenna says, I cried for the whole half hour. <laughs> A homeowner was in danger of losing his rooster. That's what the story was about, folks. The homeowner was going to lose his rooster. So there you go. I'm going to stop it right here before I start cracking up. Again, tonight, 7 o'clock, Joe and Joe, uh, for all of you on Joe Chiaffi's, uh YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed, 
subscribe to Joe Rea Weather right here on YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. I mean, why would it cost you anything if you have stories like Roger the Rooster <laughs> and you have people like Jenna Russo feeding me this stuff? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Tim Beltman is on. How you doing, Tim? We'll see you at seven o'clock tonight. Thank you all for watching, and we'll we'll see you. And again, if you want snow, you're gonna have to go south to North Carolina because that's where the snow is gonna be falling over the next 12 to 18 hours. I wonder if Mayberry, North Carolina, I wonder if Andy Griffith, Sheriff Andy and Deputy Fife are going to get snow. Probably they will. And Ann B and, 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 and Opie, yeah, they'll be all out this afternoon and this evening getting their snow shovels ready because it's going to be snowing down here there, but not up here. All right. I'm cutting out now. Have a good one. Make it a great Thursday, everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll see you perhaps tomorrow on your TGIF. Have a good one.